Hi world, How welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Well, when you saw the last video guys, you would have seen I got so much footage today in Calcutta that I got enough to make two videos instead of one. So this is part two. If you missed part one, go back and watch it, then watch this one. Well, you don't really have to guys, but you're missing the beginning of my day. This is the end of my day. Anyway, I'm waffling, so let's get back to editing. Google Maps sent me to the entry point of this beautiful park, but it's locked. So, you know what I can see there? Let's see if I can zoom in here. Oh, I forget how to zoom in. But, just there, above my, sitting on my finger now, that sort of whitey brown thing you can see is a kangaroo. Why they've got a kangaroo in a statue of a kangaroo in an Indian park, I don't know. Okay guys, so just across here there's a big park with a lot of horses in it. I've heard that polo is still a big game, big sport in, um, in India. I'm pretty sure I've seen this is the polo ground. So once I've been into... Well guys, it's the polo ground across here again. Now, I'm not going to show you just yet because the GoPro won't do it justice. But I can see this this building now, the Victoria Memorial. You're not going to believe it, guys. This is just incredible. One of the most beautiful buildings I've ever seen in my life. And I know we tried these in Select. I'm going to try one now if he ever gives them to me. But these guys are getting them off. Sorry? Six piece. Six piece, yeah, right then. I usually lose this gut when I'm travelling. I can't see it happening in India unless I get the unless I get the runs for a couple of days I can't see me losing any weight at all because I just keep eating and eating and eating those are just delicious guys I can't remember the name of them but so good the ones in Silet though were full of potato and onion and things this one the guy just put a tiny little bit in for flavour but it was still very good very cheap for um, locals, anyone from Bangladesh, Nepal, India, Pakistan, Bhutan, very cheap. But it's, and even for foreigners, it's only $10 Australian, so about $7 US. But um, let's go in and have a look, guys. This is from here, I can see it, but I want to sort of reveal it to you once I've shown my ticket. Well, guys, I've got the army right behind me, so I have to be sneaky here again. And we're sort of going to go this way out of their view. We're not supposed to video here either, which anyway. But if we look here, guys, look at this. Just incredible. There's the statue of Queen Victoria up the top here. And her memorial behind. I've paid for the museum and everything. So, well, you've got no choice when you're a foreigner. Your $10, well, your $7 US ticket pays for everything. But let's go. Isn't this incredible, guys? Amazing. Uh, and here it's explaining a bit. Yes. Very, very impressive. Now the, the memorial is surrounded by acres and acres of this beautiful garden. So as far as you can see, that's the cathedral over there. You can, I don't know if you can see it here, but the steeple's just above my finger. So from here to there pretty much is garden. Same distance that way, same distance behind me. And look at this guys, just incredible. And they have all sorts of spotlights behind me here. That's the memorial there. This must look incredible. Look at all the lights here. Unbelievable lit up at night time. I might get myself thrown out for doing this because they tried taking my cameras off me when I came in. Guys, this is just unbelievable, well worth the $10. Look at this. And there's a whole exhibition. This is just the central sort of plaza bit. But there's a whole exhibition on how India gained its freedom. Really very impressive. Worth the $10 on its own without the gardens and everything. Just unbelievable. at the other side of the building. There she is right there. 
impressive from any angle you look at it. Right. This is the Memorial Lane. I'm not sure if that's what it's called, but that's what I just made up. Oh, guard horse up there on the on the arch. Just incredible, guys. More lakes, more water. This was well worth every cent of the ten dollars. Well, seven dollars US. Sorry, guys. When I was in Bangladesh, it was easy to talk in um, in US dollars because that was pretty much one cent to one tucker. But here it's pretty much half a cent to one cent Australian so it's easier for me to speak in Australian here it's fenced off here I'll try and get closer but um, all these lights up here they must do a light show on the on the fountains of the night time yeah this place must look, look there's all spotlights all over the place oh look I didn't see that every angle you look at this place it's incredible Now I've seen those lighting towers from this side because there's the fountain right here. Just beautiful. It's obviously lights that does a colour show on the building. Oh guys, this must be so impressive at night time. I'm not going to lie to you and pretend I'm going to come here tonight because we all know that won't happen. I'm not much of a night person at all. I was up at 6 o'clock this morning. Look at this. Well, I came over here to the gates, it's the memorial and the park and everything over there, the gardens. I came here to try and show you the, um, that kangaroo that I saw before, this kangaroo statue, I can't find it. But it turns out this is either lover's lane or prostitute lane because every one of those people behind me and behind every tree there's someone sort of getting a bit frisky. And that guy right behind me there, just in the little pink shirt, I think he's just there having a perv at everyone. So that was a bit embarrassing because I was halfway along there before I realised. I embarrassed myself up Lover's Lane for nothing because this gate's actually open. What? Oh, okay. Oh, well, I was wrong. It's actually people living here. All this starting to get a bit hot guys and not humid hot like I've been getting used to in Philippines and Indonesia and things but just hot hot like Australia I'm gonna have a sit down here drink my cold water that I just got and um, it will be nearly time to go and visit the planetarium ticket to the planetarium's about a, that's 120 which is about maybe two dollars Australian dollar fifty US. This girl here is preening herself for my camera, pretending she doesn't notice. And now I'm in the queue for the. I've got my ticket, now I'm in the queue to wait. Most people, there was more than one of them, so they came and got in the queue while another person got the tickets. So these are some people that are coming to see the show with me. I thought I'd embarrass them. <laughs> and you can hardly see me because it's dark in here, but this is the planetarium. I seem to remember the one in Bogota where we had to stand up, but let's wait and see the show. Starts in five minutes. Well, guys, that was well and truly worth the dollar fifty US. And just like the one in um, Bogota that we went to last year, it's got a little um, museum explaining a bit more as you leave well guys this is the park i was looking at before i was just there but i made a big mistake in my monologue so i've got to start again this one's a statue of gandhi these are all very important um, people in india's history so and that's the little park that i walked past on the way here and said we'd show you on the way when i left right now i'm heading to the tube station the subway get a subway back to my hotel and then have something to eat yes are oh, the planetarium guys well worth a visit I know that's not something very um, Indian but it was well well worth a visit and for a dollar fifty US it was an, a very relaxing 45 minutes and when I was walking towards the memorial and things the Victoria Memorial um, 
remember I came to the Elliott Park just earlier in this video, so I hope you remember. It is open now, and it's just beautiful, guys. And it, it stretches for miles that way. I think it finishes just up here. You can see the fence on this side. But it's another of these beautiful green zones in the middle of Kolkata. Amazing, guys. I'm really, really surprised by this city. It's, um, it's not what I expected at all, really. I haven't done this for a while, guys. But I was just walking along here thinking how lucky I am to be able to do this life. And if I'm going to continue doing it, it's up to you guys. Please subscribe. Hit like. If you're, in, if you're watching this in Facebook, join the Facebook page. Watch the occasional video. And if you really wanted to help, guys, there's a link to my website in every video. And um, in the website, you can buy a copy of my book. It costs $8 US. And it's the story of my life hitchhiking around Australia in my youth from about 15 to about 25. A lot of drugs, a lot of girls, a lot of alcohol. I've given all that up though, that was the old me, but I'm told it's a pretty good read. So guys, please. But even if you just subscribe, watch the occasional video, it really helps my brand. Well guys, that was an incredible day. As you can probably tell, I got two videos out of one day. Um, I finished now, done a lot of editing, a lot of editing today. But if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that mad dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. May as well hit that bell icon while you're down there. I always try and respond to your comments, so leave a comment. Give me a big thumbs up. Share this video everywhere you can. We'll see you in the next one.